This is Josh with Making Music, and today we're going to walk through just making a simple groove on the Electron Digitone. Now, I love this little box. Not sponsored by Electron or anything. Though Electron, if you want to send me free stuff, uh, let me know. But I think it's really great, and I just wanted to show what it's like making a really simple song on it. So let's jump right in. So here we are in a blank project on the Digitone. When you start off a new project, every single track is going to have this sine wave patch, which is quite lovely and in no way, shape, or form what we're looking for right now. Now, I've planned out in advance the song I'm going to make, just so you don't have to watch me flounder on here for five hours. To begin with, I had actually already set the tempo by pressing the little metronome button. And you can turn this up or down, whew, as well as adjusting the swing. I'm going to leave it straight ahead and have the BPM be 90. All right. So to start, let's load a couple patches. I'm going to press the little track button twice. And that brings us into this patch browser. The patch that I want is in bank C. So I'm going to hold bank and press 11. And we're right on it, actually. It was uh, this patch, bloop 5000. And I'll press yes. And now it's loaded on here, and you can hear it. Awesome. Before we add a, another patch, I figure, why don't we record what I'm thinking about for this song? I'm not too great at just intuiting what the BPM is. So I'm gonna turn on a metronome. I'm gonna hold function and pattern, turn knob E, pow, metronome, on, play, and you can hear it going. I'm gonna hold a little circle button, press play. We start going, it says live record unquantized. You can hear the metronome in the background. And I'm gonna Now you can hear it's uh, playing what I played. Technology is amazing. Now, I played that a little bit sloppily, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to press the little ellipses button for the pattern menu, hit yes on quantize, turn it up. Maximum quantization. So clean. So on the beat. Rad. For track two, I already know what I want. I want something to do a kind of like chordy, pad-ish sound. I'm going to find that in bank A, so I'm going to hold bank, press 9, and it's actually uh, this sound, Grumlig JM. I hope Grumlig isn't like actually a horribly obscene word in a language I don't speak. And I hit yes, it's loaded, and now you can hear. And just to make it clear, when I'm in this patch browser, it's going to play the sound of whichever patch you have highlighted. So if I go to this one, it'll play that one when I've got it highlighted. Anyway, I'm going to drop an octave by pressing function and down. For where I want. So like we did before, I'm going to hold the record button and press play. And you can hear it's going. And I'll just jump in right when it starts over. Like I did before, uh, let's clean up my messy playing. Quantize all the way up. Kapow. All right. Feel like we need a nice bass groove so uh double tap that track three button and i'm going to just scroll down i know exactly what i'm looking for it is right here tx bass one mf very classic number letter combo and like we did last time record play i'll let it go through one whole pass and then i'll jump in when it starts over Last time, quantize. Let's clean it up. All right. Looks like one of those bass hits was not quite on. 
There we go. Great. Because we've got all that down, I don't think we really need the metronome anymore. I'm gonna turn it off. For drums, the way that I like to do drums on the Digitone involves using something on it called the sound pool. So even though you have four tracks, you can assign on different steps in different tracks uh, to have a different patch play than the one that's actually assigned to that track. And you choose those patches from what you've loaded into the sound pool. To demonstrate, I'm gonna press the little gear to go into the menus, go to sound manager, time to manage some sounds. And what I'm looking for, what I'm actually gonna find first is a nice hi-hat sound. So I'm gonna go down in these filters, filter for hi-hats, and now I can demo them. Ah, this looks good. This one I'm actually going to load into the track, but now for the pool, the sound pool, I'm going to look first for a kick. Hmm. I like that one. And I'm gonna hit copy to sound pool. One sound's copied. Perfect. Next, I'm going to filter for snares. And like I did before, I'm gonna just find whichever one looks like or sounds like what I want. Great. And copy to sound pool. Cool. So now, instead of doing the sound, like playing it in live, I'm going to hit just this little right button on its own. And I'm gonna fill in everything because I want 16th notes. Now once I've got those filled in, if I hit play, it sounds like this, which is not the worst thing I have ever made, but isn't what I'm hoping to make with this track. So when I'm in this like writing step edit mode, if I hold this first step, and turn the level knob, it lets me choose what sound I want to play there. I could play the track sound, which is that hi-hat, the kick, or the snare drum. So I'm going to just key in some kicks and snares here, and when I hit play, it's going to sound like this. It's just a fun way to get a lot of drum sounds in without having to use a ton of like a track real estate. Now I've got a pattern in mind. I'm gonna add these in, boop, boop. All right, so we've added in all our drum sounds and um, we'll just listen to what this finished pattern sounds like. So thank you so much for watching and listening. Um, I hope you found this video both informative and entertaining. If you enjoyed the video and you're open to it, please consider liking the video and hitting subscribe to help this channel grow. And to any Digitone experts out there who might be able to advise me on ways to economize my workflow, um, hit me up with some suggestions because I'm still figuring things out. Anyway, thank you so much for watching and um, bye.